We're just about to start the West Highland Way. We're walking the, the whole way in seven days to this time and um, we're going to walk from Mulgai to Drimmen today and my sister Julie has joined us this time. Right, and these signs just at the start, they tell us all the steps on the West Highland Way. That's a 26 miles. Up those trees, just along. Yeah, they're the cum cumulative miles. For a minute there, I thought, is that how many we're doing today? <laughs> yeah, we're doing 96 at the end, Julie. Yeah. Just walking through Mugdock Country Park. Nice, clear morning, it's not raining, a little bit humid, nice pleasant start to the walk. Just leaving Mugdock Country Park. Just coming out of the woods, our first view of the first lock. In a slight shower, but it seems to be passing now. Yeah. Try your camera on. Just admiring the glorious Scottish countryside on the way to Drimmer. Vera's here again. <laughs> Right, we've just had lunch and we're going to walk up to the beech tree for a coffee now and Daryl's carrying my coat and his on his stick so he can dry it out. Right, we've done almost seven miles and there's the Glendoyne distillery and we're just about to get up to the beech tree in and have a coffee and that'll be about seven miles. We're at the beech tree, Julie's just relayed the poem in fine form. We've just arrived at the waterfall at Gart Ness. Feast your eyes on that, what a view. Too far away. Just another less than two miles to go before we get to Drimmen, our first stop of the walk. Thoroughly enjoyable day, roasting sunshine all afternoon. Yep, we've now reached Trolls Bridge, complete with a couple of trolls on the bridge. Right, this morning, this fine wet day we are going to go to from Drimmen via Balmahar to Rawardenen about 16 17 miles via Conic Hill I think we're going to get wet very wet we're going to leave Kip in the Kirk the converted church was absolutely fantastic stay Lovely welcome and go to Rewarded and Hotel. Just come off the main road out of Drimmen and we're now following the track as we start walking about six miles to Conic Hill. Just walk 
walking through the forest. Yeah, about a mile and a half in. And it's still raining. But gorgeous nonetheless. This is where the West Highland Way crosses the Rob Roy Way. Just in the middle of Garaba Van Forest, I think it's pronounced. It's still murky, but we are making good time today because we're not stopping very much. Nice and pretty, even in the rain. Up on Conic Hill. Can't see a great deal, but it feels good to be up here anyway. We've managed it despite it being slippy. Just coming down off Conic Hill now after a rather slippery bit at the top, but thoroughly enjoyable. Nearly at the bottom of Conic Hill, we just come into the forest and it's quite sheltered and it's pleasant. made it to Bal Balmahar. As you might imagine, the car park is virtually empty because of the weather. The picturesque harbour of Balmahar, slightly deserted due to the weather, but beautiful. Well, we've finally stopped because it stopped raining and it's about half three and that's the view from the little beach that we're sat on. A bit of a treat after a, a really, really soggy day. And we've got about three miles left to go. A nice little cove. alongside the lake doing the last couple of miles towards Roarden and Hotel where we're stopping the night. It's been quite pleasant walking without any weather. Looking forward to getting there though now. Finally arrived at the Roarden and Hotel. Thank goodness. Ready for a shower now. Right, first view of the morning. We're walking from Roardenen to Bindglass campsite via Inversnade, about 16 miles, sunny and showers forecasted, about 16. Taking the high route around Loch Lomond, coming out of Roardenen. Rewarded with a nice waterfall as well. About an hour's walking out of Roardenen, come across a bench with this view. Not bad for a morning copper. Another pretty waterfall. Right, Julie's going down some rocks and we come out to this view. Wet rocks. Well, that 
been all right. I took my rucksack off. <laughs> You'll have to do us as we're going over. Particularly steep bit. Yeah, it is quite. Jesus. <laughs> it might be a sit down job. <laughs> In the nice cool water of Loch Lomond. Paddling! Last views of Loch Lomond. <laughs> Just starting off from buying glass campsite this morning. We're gonna end up in Tindrum after about 13 miles. A less demanding walk today than yesterday. Should be enjoyable. Beautiful waterfall on the River Fallet. Right, just stop in for a, a little tea break. Not a bad view. <laughs> Go on then. Right, the bridge is broken, so we're having to um, get over the best way we can. There's the broken bridge. Pleasant walking along the River Fallock. There's been quite a lot of storm damage though with the trees. It's still beautiful. Where we're crossing the railway tunnel, Buff. Right, it's day four. We're exactly halfway at the Cryanlerish crossroads. About another seven miles to go today. At the halfway point on the West Highland Way. Nice walk through the forest. <sighs> A quiet spot by the river for lunch. But we do need the moss mozzy nets on.
still walking through the forest, just past Ewich. Right, there's a maximum load on this bridge, so Julie's gonna have to swim. <laughs> River feeling. Dong, 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 dong. That feels that bloody epic. Right, and that's the remains of St. Fillion's Monastery. And the cemetery. These are called Strasbillion Wigwams. Very sweet. You can spend the night in these with a nice cockerel crowing to wake you up in the morning. Slow. Children, animals and Daryl. Right, today we're going to walk from Tindrum after having stayed in the lovely Tindrum Inn all the way to King's House via um, the Bridge of Orkey and Inveroran. It's about 20 miles and the weather is a little bit rainy to say the least but nevertheless a lovely 20 miles to look forward to. That's first view of the morning. Not bad, eh? There's the gate. And no fence either side. Farmer's joke. We're just starting to pull away from the road now. We're going up a bit of a hill. But it's stopped raining. Coming under the railway, and some very slippy stones. Very carefully. Just taking in the views where the West Highland Railway goes. And there's the viaduct. It's a bit murky, but still beautiful. Right, the maximum weight for this bridge is 13 tonne, so we're just praying that she gets across all right with that rucksack on. I don't know whether it's going to just take her over the edge. Oh, and oh, oh, it's wobbling. Oh, oh, and she's safe, she's done it. Right, we've just arrived at the little hamlet of Bridge of Orkey. Two quirky little cabins. Beautiful house. And there's the railway station. View from the Bridge of Orkey down the river. We're now going to go to the Inveroran Hotel, three miles. Walking up the hill out of the Bridge of Orkney to the lovely forest. Right, this is the view from the top of the hill down to the lake at Inverora. Even in the dismal conditions. Right, just descending off Black Mount down into to the Inverora Hotel. And there's Lake Tuller. Views of Lake Tuller all the way along. Gorgeous. 
Right, we've made it down to Inveroran Hotel. Now stop in for a cuppa. There's even a deer. It's just looking at me. A reindeer. Right. Drove us road to Glencoe. And all Rannoch Moor in that open fields and moors. Rannoch Moor. Nothing but wilderness. And Julie. Another beautiful waterfall on Rannoch Moor. Wow. About four miles to go, but we've got a bit of a hill to climb at the end. Right, we're just coming down off Rannoch Moor. We can see King's House where we're staying tonight, just about. Looking forward to putting our feet up, I think, tonight. Pie and a pint. Anyone for a ski lift? Glencoe Ski Centre. Yeah. Right, today we're going to walk from King's House to Kinloch Leven by the Devil's Staircase, which is the highest point on the West Highland Way. And um, it's about a nine mile walk today. The weather is meant to be glorious, although I can see a few clouds. But beautiful view over there and we're ready to go. Views leaving King's House over down to Glencoe. Right, we're going to turn off this track and do the first minor hill of the day. Looking forward to it already. Just up there. Right, we're just about to start going up the Devil's Staircase to the highest point on the West Highland Way. Just stop for a brew on a few feet of the Devil's Staircase with a nice view of the river. And a glorious view over there. <laughs> right, we're just coming down the other side of Devil's Staircase. We're going to round, skirt the mountain into Kinloch Leven, probably about four miles left to go today. So a nice, relatively easy day today. And the beautiful views of the mountains. Right, go for it. Turn round and do a funny And here comes the ninja across the stepping stones, otherwise known as Kermit the Frog. <laughs> right, more or less down the mountain, about halfway into Kinloch Leven. Nice little stream. And that's where we've come from. Last half a mile before we get to Kinloch leaving. Ready for some lunch now. Now walking into Kinloch leaving. Famous for its big industrial pipes. Come down this big, big hill. Almost there now. Twat! 
Okay. Right, today we're walking from Forest View to Fort William. It's the last day, 15 miles, not raining, so hopefully we'll have a good day. Just coming out of the Kinloch Leven, a very, very steep hill. And we're glad it's not too hot this morning. Looking forward to the views at the top. Just crossing the waterfall on the hill out of Kinloch Leven. I think we're nearly at the top of the hill out of Kinloch Leven. But there's the view of the lock. Almost worth the climb. Nevis. We're nearly there. Glen Nevis and then we've got to walk up the road to Fort William so not far now about less than three miles and Julie's taking a coat off for the what I'd say 50th time today hopefully the last time because we're nearly at Fort William about two more miles. Getting very excited to see the sore foot statue. Just left the track, walked down to walk down to the road to Fort William. Nearly there. Right, we found the original end of the West Highland Way. So almost there walking into Fort William Town Centre. Just got to walk up the street to get to the statue. Right, we've just finished the West Highland Way. Seven days and sore legs now. But a good, good walk. <laughs> 